guys? This is Coach Victor Bell, the general, founder of Warhorse Strength Camp and the Champion Development Academy, creator of the Champion Army, where I help male entrepreneurs get the edge and become champions in their business, bank accounts, their bodies, and their lives. First, uh, the Champion War Week, February 19th through the 23rd, um, here in Honolulu, Hawaii. Hit me up, go to championdevelopmentacademy.com, fill out the application, let's talk and see if I can help you move shit forward, give you the edge in your business so you can have that balance and make the money and uh, raise your level of performance and play uh, in your life and your business. So, I was talking to my son today, we were talking about leading. You know, I reach out to a lot of people that I know, and uh, a lot of people I don't know, reach. probably more people reach out to me that I don't know than people that I do. And... Um, Yesterday, I reached out to a few people that I know, and I'm just going to fucking say it. This person keeps telling me I'll pass. I'll pass. In the words of the great Seth from Boiler Room, the only person making money passing are quarterbacks, and you don't have a fucking number on your back. Now, I say that, I say that and here's why. People that typically know you will pass on your want and willingness to help them, even though you're probably the best bet for them. I'll say that again. They will pass on your want and willingness to help them, even though you are the best bet for them. And I was talking to my son about something. Because nine, well, we were talking about some situations going down on his uh, where he is. I won't go into a whole bunch of details. But I was like, now, if everyone around you on the team knew that they were actually killing the people around them, that they're actually misusing the people around them, the people who support them, the people who stand up for them. They don't know what the people around them go through to get them to the positions where they are. And if someone's on that team, if someone's in your circumference that has the ability to lead, is choosing to not lead, then they are worse than the strongest person on the team. You see, there are a lot of people who will choose to not lead. There are a lot of people who will choose to not step up. There are a lot of people who will choose to do a lot of things less than their true ability to do because they are afraid to be disliked. See, I don't care about you liking me. I care about helping you go to the next level. I care more about most people's families than they care about their own families. You know why? Because I have one and I feel like I have a responsibility to help. Here's the challenge with that. A lot of guys want to have this movement. A lot of guys want to create this revolution. A lot of guys want to create all these things to guide all these people where they feel like those people should want to go. Yet at the same time, even in being a leader, you have to ask yourself, am I looking to lead a bunch of kiss asses to the promised land? Or am I, am I really trying to lead a bunch of kick-ass guys to begin to kick ass in their own land so they become stronger with what I'm hopefully able to add to them to make them better. A lot of guys would rather lead a bunch of kiss asses to a place that they really shouldn't be anyways because they aren't strong enough to reach up and possess the land without that leader still in place. You see, when Moses died, everybody bitched him and hawed. Even Joshua had to wait until those people that Moses led initially who already weren't strong enough to go and possess the land promised to them, he had to wait until those people died and only lead their next level generation because those people weren't strong enough. Sometimes, guys, you got to leave people behind. Sometimes, guys, you got to understand that the people that you are now looking to lead don't want to be led. They ain't strong enough. You have to level up a notch because the people you're looking at are still kissing ass. And you need the ass kickers. So if you're going to lead, if you're going to step up at all, you got to look at who you want to lead, where they're going, find out if you're actually leading or are you just waiting. And you're really doing more damage than you are good because you're being a weak leader. You better step up, champions, and start stepping to the plate and doing what's necessary. If you're ready to lead, start leading. If it's time to lead, start leading. Stop killing the people who are leading you by leading less. Playing a smaller game in hopes that you're going to win because I can tell you, you won't. You're going to kill the person at the top. You're going to die on the vine and you will make your family suffer. A penalty greater than the one that you're suffering right now because you wouldn't step up and take charge. Guys, do the damn thing. Let's get this thing going. Stop passing on your opportunity to step up and lead your people. Everyone's waiting so you can stop lying to them. It's easier for you to stand down than to step up. It's not harder at the top. You just have to make the decision. Again, Coach Victor Bell, 
punching somebody in the face today. Get after it, homies. Let's do it. Go to championdevelopmentacademy.com. If you don't like it, then fucking opt out. I don't want you on the team anyways. I'm not looking to make people kiss ass. I'm looking to help you kick ass. Get it? Got it? Good. Apply, create, inflict panic, pressure, pain to create badass results. Go get it.